Ladies and gentlemen, I won't lie to you. Bing and Microsoft Edge might be better than Chrome. I guess let's ask Edge what it thinks. What is better, Google Chrome or Edge? Oh wow, it even filled it in for me. That was pretty cool. Ta-da! Wow, this is fast. Okay, I'm, I'm uncomfortable, that was fast. Both Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge are popular. According to a recent article, ooh, we got references in the answer and hyperlinks, what? Okay, so Edge might be a better performer. I had this theory a couple years ago, and this is before the whole Bing thing, but I gotta say, Edge really is getting a next level upgrade with the fact that on your side right here, you can obviously do the basic like Bing search, but you can do Bing AI search right here in the chat. And you're also able to compose here too. So I'll, I'll jump into really quickly what this means. So basically in your experience, you have the ability to use the integrated chat GPT that's with Bing in your Edge browser. Now something that's really nice off the bat is that there's this little pin option. So you can see that you can pin this right here. And then when I ask it a question, like what are five ways to grow on Twitter? It'll come back at me with a ridiculous amount of quick information that also has things hyperlinked to it and shows its references on the bottom. And then it prompts you to either get more relevant responses or it even gives you a list of different questions like what are some other social media platforms? How do I create an ad campaign on Twitter that are relevant to the original query? Now this is pretty insane stuff. You're not really able to see this at the moment with what's going on with Bard and, and it's a little, it's just amazing that Microsoft took the risk on trying to integrate this into their platform. So that's one of the chat features, the entire Bing AI chat function in a sidebar on your native experience. So you can just navigate to wherever you can be on like YouTube and you can keep having this up and reference whatever you want to on YouTube and continuously like ask questions. Uh, you can give it feedback to like, dislike, or even just copy this right here for easy bringing it into uh, something like Notion or another knowledge management platform. And then from a Compose standpoint, you can also write out stuff and give it different context. So you can say format is a paragraph or email or blog post or just ideas, and then it'll generate content and you can change the length here as well. So I wanna make a medium. I wanna write an email to my boss saying that I quit in a polite manner. You can make it professional, casual, enthusiastic. I wanna make it informal. I wanna make it an email. Make sure to let him know he's not why I quit the job. It's because there wasn't enough food in <laughs> the office kitchen. <laughs> and then uh, generate the draft. And while you're browsing through whatever it is, it could be Reddit, you, know, you got a little Reddit browsing action going on, it's gonna spit out this information. Uh, you could obviously use this in a more professional format. Say you're dealing with uh, an interesting report or you're dealing with an interesting email that you're looking at in your browser, you can generate a response right here on the side. Now you have the ability to regenerate, copy, uh, you could have stopped it in its tracks and you can add it to site. So add to site is interesting. I click right here and then press add to site. It'll drop it right into this bar right here. So let me delete that again and show you what I did. So on the bottom right, we have the ability to press add to site. And on the top left, I'm in a place where I can do text input. So a great example of this would be, like I said earlier, if I'm composing an email and I have this selected, I then can quickly press add to site and it would drop it right into the email. Now that is ridiculous ridiculously effective. You can't tell me that that's not a step up from what Chrome's able to do right now. I'm ready to inform you that I decided to resign my software engineer position. It's not an easy decision to make as I've enjoyed working. However, I realize that this job is not fulfilling. One of the main reasons for my resignation is that I feel there is not enough food in the office kitchen. All the things I say early morning recording sessions. And this is just awesome because you're able to change the different tone, change the format of what you're writing, redo drafts. And then you can also have auto hide sidebar uh, enabled so that it would like disappear over time. And then there's this interesting tab right here, which is insights. So it shows you insights about whatever tab you're on. So if I go to like YouTube, it'll give you some insights about YouTube as a website, which is Kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Google Chrome is not something I've used for a while. I've been using Brave, but I think Edge might be something I have to check out. It's extremely underrated at the moment. Just like this video is extremely underrated on how to improve your productivity even more.